first topic is about the nature of psychology. Again, this is Donna Lea P. Bendia, and I will be the one to discuss the nature of psychology or introduction to psychology. Psychology came from the Greek word psych and logos. Psych means soul or mind, and logos is study. So basically, this is the study of the soul or the mind. But that is actually the old meaning of psychology. Okay, Today, we use this definition, which is uh, the scientific study of behavior and mental process. When you say scientific, it means uh, uh, it undergoes through several step-by-step -step process. Okay, It also tries to explain, predict, modify, and ultimately improve the lives of people and the world where they live in. We are going to discuss the different schools of psychology. When you say schools, these are a group of experts studying a certain topic. Okay, the first school of psychology is structuralism. Then you have functionalism, gestalt psychology, psychodynamic model, humanistic model, and behaviorism. The first one is structuralism, which is expounded by Edward Titchener. He is an outstanding pupil of Wilhelm Wundt. Wilhelm Wundt is actually the father of experimental psychology. Okay? Wilhelm Wundt is the first person to put up a psychological laboratory in Leipzig, Germany. Okay? And his student, Edward Titchener, is the proponent of structuralism, which means it emphasizes the basic unit of experience and human behavior that can be studied through conscious experiences. This school of psychology also uses introspection or observation of conscious experiences. The second school of psychology is functionalism, established by William James. This is William James. So this is concerned with the utility of how conscious processes function in the adjustment of man to his environment. So this is more on pragmatic or practical uses of uh, the behavior of people that could be used in everyday experiences. Next, we have just thought psychology. So this is an approach in psychology that focuses on the organization of perception and thinking in a whole rather than dividing it into its elements or its contents. Okay? It is mainly attributed to Max Rothheimer. This is Max Rothheimer. He is a German psychologist. In psychodynamic model, which is founded by Sigmund Freud, okay, this is pronounced as Freud, uh, which is based on the theory of unconscious motivation and its effect on human behavior. It is also influenced by the libido theory. When you say libido, this is the sexual energy of the person. Hormic psychology is introduced by William MacDougall. This is William MacDougall, which means that everything has a purpose or everything has a reason. That is the reason why it is also known as purposivism. Then we have behaviorism. The proponent is John Watson. This is John Watson. He's the father of behaviorism. And he stressed the importance of learning the environment and events that shape the behavior. Okay? In other words, this is also known as the stimulus-response formula. 